Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll speak in Swedish first and then... Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, hello, this is Peter. Hey, Peter, from Göteborg. Och uh, vi är kvar i Gent på hotellet uh, några dagar efter vår operation för att uh, byta höfled, eller byta, göra en resurfacing, en utsättningsprotes i, i vänsterben. Det går väldigt bra. Vi är ett gott gäng här med sex svenska som, uh, som får lite uh, sjukgymnastik varje dag och, uh, och uh, försöka göra en så bra rehab som möjligt efter våra operationer. Och uh, med mig nu har jag uh, Läkaren från äh, ankelkliniken. Han heter Dr. Cohen Dusmet. Hello, Mr. Dusmet. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Thank you for sticking your knife in me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Not only a knife, also a good prosthesis. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you've done. You do life-changing work because I'm so grateful. I'm gonna after many years of having problems with my hip, I'm gonna get my life back. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic the, the work you do. Yeah. So, what do you think of all the Swedish people coming down in to Belgium? Well, I think on the first place, I think it's very good for all these young people with good bones. Mm -hmm. They are able to come to Ghent, to Belgium, to have it done. Mm -hmm. Because in Sweden, there is no possibility anymore. No. And it's proven, it can be a prosthesis for a lifetime. Mm. And like if you see how you are walking after one week, yes. that's the proof it's working very well. Yes. And it's not only working, okay, it's one week now, but I have been doing it for 19 years mm. Mm. today and done more than 4,500. Mm. So Just hip resurfacing. Hip yeah. resurfacing, yeah. yeah. I'm doing also total hip, I've done 9,000 in total. Yes. But it's w working very well. Yeah. I would know after yeah. 19 years and having done so <laughs> many, yeah. if there would be really a problem. Exactly, yeah. 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 But is there, is there any time when you prefer to do a total hip replacement, which is the one available in Sweden? instead of you doing a hip resurfacing is there any is okay there, there are rules yeah there are rules and those are medical it's not just because i'm fun of resurfacing i do resurfacing mm -hmm. i do resurfacing with all people that have good bones that are still active if you have somebody that is 85 mm -hmm. okay i mm -hmm. will not do resurfacing okay yeah. would run he sends me all x-rays mm -hmm. i know everything i know how active people are mm -hmm. we see the bone quality mm -hmm. and then we say okay this is a good candidate for resurfacing or mm -hmm. it isn't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not always possible no but when you're coming to sweden soon now uh, ron's organized the seminar in uh, in urbro the first first thing that everybody will ask if this method is so good why didn't they do it in sweden because Sweden is a little bit like the Netherlands. They have always been very conservative in their procedures. Yeah. And the reason there is because Sweden <coughs> has <coughs> today the longest existing hip register. Hip register? Yeah, where they put all the hips in with mm -hmm. all the hospitals and all the surgeons. Okay. Okay, but that means all surgeons Mm. everybody every case mm. what have they seen that if you take a prosthesis that is easy to put and you take the technique that is easy for everybody mm. that then you get the best results mm -hmm. in a mm. register in a register yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so they all yeah, so they came down to cemented hips plastic cups mm. okay which is for young people the worst thing there is yeah but in their eyes the best to do okay. because in the register you get percentages for everybody okay they can pick out small things but mm. what we see in the Swedish hip, hip register that people like for your age mm. the survival of the hips they put Mm. 
at 15 years it's only 75 percent okay you see yeah. would resurface doesn't that, doesn't that be like a negative on the register then if, it, if the, if the it, prosthesis doesn't survive then it's very negative it's a negative but there they never went into to change and to go for a resurfacing yeah. but uh, there was a time around the year 2000 they were doing, it. They were doing uh, resurfacing yeah. in Sweden yeah uh, so they must have had some experience but they decided that it wasn't going to continue then. yeah and the reason why is if you do resurfacing mm -hmm. only by people that are doing a lot that have experience mm -hmm. okay then you have good results okay so it's with a lot of prosthesis mm -hmm. and the biggest problem where some countries stopped it because there was one prosthesis of one of the biggest companies the pew okay. johnson johnson mm -hmm. that came out with a very bad prosthesis. Mm -hmm. So the actual device that there was was not was, good. Was not good. Yeah, and in some countries, also in Sweden, because mm -hmm. they had then so many problems with the metal on metal, mm -hmm. they said, "Okay, this we don't want anymore." Okay. And they stopped it. But you don't use. You're not put one of those in me, though, have you? No, no, no. no, no it's no. off the market. <laughs> Today, <laughs> what has happened because of that bad story? Yeah. We had. 15 prostheses on the market different types of yeah every okay. every orthopedic surgeon was doing it even if they did one a year okay that are all bad things it's always okay. what i say if you give tomorrow a formula one car to mm -hmm. everybody driving in sweden mm -hmm. they will stop traffic tomorrow yeah, you yeah. will have too much accidents yeah it's the same thing with resurfacing yeah so give to the surgeons that do a lot they mm -hmm. can do resurfacing and if they use mm -hmm. a good prosthesis which are the only one that are still on the market okay you will have good results so it's kind of like the, the bad ones have disappeared from the yeah. market and the ones that we're using today yeah. are, are safer that yeah and that's well. the result from the bad things that happened before mm. and in fact it's a good thing but well, I, will let's hope but we can, I will tell mm -hmm. you it will come back you know yeah let's hope we can uh, it, the results are good. like you say the results are so good that it will be very strange that it's not being offered in Sweden yeah so that's the like I say the question you're gonna get uh, this is some young people in our group and my myself and you are saying that this prosthesis will never wear out now no. we've got it for the rest of our life yeah. it's like <coughs> a big chance big chance of that uh, when it comes to <coughs> which is <coughs> which is obviously one of the main plus points uh, the second main plus point is we get our lives back when it comes to doing fun things, sports yeah. and, and everything. And you don't put any restriction on no. what kind of activities we can do in like after our rehab. No. No. I don't see any downside in like wear of the prosthesis. People mm -hmm. that are very active and people that have like just a sitting job mm -hmm. and do no sports, mm -hmm. the wear is the same. Okay. So so I can be uh, if I can uh, uh, go skiing and riding motorbike or you do what you want. Do what I want. Okay. Yeah. And those eighteen, nineteen years, I have never seen somebody having problems because being active. Never. Uh, never. Of course, if you fall down with your bike. Uh, yeah on a street of concrete at 60 kilometers an hour mm. and you break your hip mm. you would have broken it mm. also but that doesn't matter without a prosthesis yeah. you know? or with any type of prosthesis yeah. okay yeah. good yeah the, the the future looks I'm like bright. i can say it's, uh, the future looks bright yeah and i would like to personally thank you again for giving me my life back yeah. i'll be able to do all the fun things and for all the patients uh, that you, you treat with and all the Swedish people who are here today uh, at the hotel it's really good yeah and it's fun if you are with those people all together yeah yeah, yeah. at the same time yeah it's good with everyone walking around on the creatures and yeah, uh, yeah. thanks fun. a lot ah Dr. Cohen de Smet Dr. de Smet han kommer till Örebro nu i om några veckor om du vill ha mer information om det här mötet så det går in på på Rons hemsida resurfacescan.be där finns massor information om uh, om uh, höft ut, utsättningsproteser uh, 
Ha det bra så länge. Hej. <laughs>